Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something a little bit different here for my channel. I saw over on Lacey Keith's beauty channel that she did this really neat um, tag video that she wanted to start and it was all on the holy grail beauty products that she has accumulated over the years that she has found through beauty subscription boxes and I thought that was just the neatest thing ever and I of course you know wanted to do it myself as well and at first I thought I wasn't going to find enough products to share with you guys but then I kind of started digging through my stuff and I started finding more and more things so I do have quite a few things to share with you guys so we're gonna go ahead and get started but first I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know about Lacey in case you don't watch her you definitely should you guys are gonna love her she is such such a sweetheart I found her long long time ago when she first started her blog and she kind of slowly transitioned into YouTube and she uploads every Thursday and her video quality is top-notch you guys I love her lighting, her video quality, her pictures, everything is just perfection. So definitely check her out. All of her links will be down below. Let her know that I sent you and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to let you guys know how long I was with Birchbox and Ipsy and I say was because I recently canceled in January of 2016, but I was actually with both uh, with both Ipsy and Birchbox since November of 2012. That is a long, long time to be committed to a beauty subscription service and I you know long thought before canceling I thought long and hard about whether or not I really should cancel just because I didn't know if I was actually finding things that I really liked through them and lo and behold I really have so let's go ahead and get started with skincare now the first item is actually a facial scrub and before receiving this in my let's see I got this in my August 2013 ipsy bag before getting this in my ipsy bag I was using you know exfoliators that were really breaking me out that my skin is so sensitive that it doesn't do take well to just any kind of exfoliator so I was really happy to receive the Michael Todd Jojoba Turkle Facial Scrub this stuff is just amazing for my skin my skin is super sensitive and I have not once broken out into a rash like I have with other products with this and it's just amazing I have repurchased it over and over and over and I probably will continue to repurchase this for the rest of my life because I love it so so much and if I sound a little yucky, it's because I feel a little yucky. I am sick. Sick, sick, sick. <laughs> the next product is actually something newer that I received in my May 2015 Birch Box, and it is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I swear by this. This stuff is just, it does wonders to my skin. Before, um, using this primer I noticed that my makeup would literally melt off uh, around my nose it would my foundation would break apart really like ugly on my forehead and my chin area it was just a hot hot mess and I finally tried a little sample of this back in May and I fell in love and I've repurchased it since and I just I love it a lot of people think it's a total gimmick I love it. I have super oily sensitive skin so this stuff just works really really well for me. Now I'm not sure when this video is going to go up but this is going to be a part of the 21 days of beauty steals or whatever Ulta is calling them and it's going to be $16 on March the 24th. I have already put that on my calendar. I am for sure going to be stocking up on some of this because I love this. It is originally $32 so definitely pick you up one of these if you would like to try it and if you don't like it you can always send it to me <laughs> okay the next product I'm going to talk about is actually another primer and it is from Dr. Brandt and it is the Pores No More Pore Refiner Primer and I got this back in my August 2014 Ipsy bag and this stuff is just amazing it is like the Benefit Professional Primer but 10 times better I'm not even kidding you and you guys know that I love the Benefit Professional but this stuff just works 
so much better especially if you have super super big pores now I don't have super big pores but I just like my foundation to go on more smoothly and evenly right around my cheek area so this helps so much okay the next product is a lip balm and you guys probably already know that I am a complete lip balm junkie I my lips are just they hate me my lips hate me they get dry they get cracked they they just like literally peel they're awful so when I received this in my November 2015 birch box I was head over heels in love and had to repurchase a full size or purchase a full size this is a little sample size and this is a full size and there's so much product in this that I haven't even opened the full size but this is the Jua essential lip enhancer conditioning lip treatment and this stuff just is amazing I don't wear this um, like on like if my lips are feeling dry, I don't pop this on. I wear something else. This is more of a product that I wear before going to bed and once I wake up while I'm doing my makeup just because it's so, so thick and a little heavy that I just like to put it on while I'm doing my makeup to let it soak into my lips really well and just heavily moisturize them before putting any lip product on there. So I love that and like I said I got that in a birch box and it was actually the birch box that Tati from Glam Life Guru curated with him and a lot of the products that she put in there I really really loved. So that was one of them that is definitely holy grail status that I will continue to repurchase forever. <laughs> And so since I just went ahead and talked to you guys about one lip balm, I'm going to go ahead and throw in another one. This is the Melon and Goats Mojito Lip Balm. I got this in my January 2014 Ipsy bag. And I have two because I keep one at my, debt, at my vanity and one in my purse. And this is like just a kind of chapstick lip balm you know what I mean it's a little bit heavier than most lip balms but not as heavy as the Jouer one um, it's just it feels really really good on the lips and um, I just really like it it doesn't have a scent to it at all and I don't know I just I really like this it's definitely something better than like your regular chapstick tube my lips just don't do well to those they're just too waxy and they end up just peeling even more so I definitely need something thick like this to really help my lips like really condition them so I love this and I actually just finished a tube not too long ago and I threw that away but this this stuff is just amazing okay moving on to hair products I don't really um, try a whole lot of new hair products just because I am tired of trying new hair stuff um, my hair is just very finicky it's just very limp and it just has no life to it no volume to it whatsoever and I'm just done I actually want to go ahead and just chop it off again and just be done with it but uh, one of the products that I received in my birch box the same birch box I had the Jouer lip balm from November 2015 is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Now I have not purchased a full size of this yet. This is still the uh, same one that I got in that bridge box but it's almost empty and I will for sure be buying another one of these because it is just the best dry shampoo I have ever tried in my whole entire life. It has nothing on Batiste. I love Batiste but this stuff is just it's amazing it actually cleans your hair it takes like it just absorbs all that oil and it smells so so good and it gives your hair just the right amount of volume and my hair does not get any volume whatsoever so this stuff is just heaven sent for my hair I just I love it it's really really good it's so expensive why does it have to be so expensive but I love it and this is definitely I think I have found I know I have found my dry shampoo of all of all time because this is just amazing. If you haven't tried it, go buy yourself a little travel size like this because you're going to fall in love and you're going to thank me later. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot one more makeup item before I go on to a fragrance and nail polish. Um, this is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and I got this in my July 2015 Ipsy bag and you can't tell here because my lighting is not too good it looks really orange but it's actually really 
perfect for my skin tone. It has like a sheen throughout it, but you can't really pick it up on the skin that much. It just gives a really healthy bronze glow that's perfect for my really pale skin. Uh, like I said, you can't really tell on camera that well. It looks a little too orange, but it's really pretty neutral. Not too orange, not too ashy gray. It's just the perfect like everyday bronzer if you can see that right there it's just beautiful I love it and I'm glad I got a pretty decent sample size of it because I don't think I'll run out of this anytime soon but once I do I will for sure repurchase because I love it for like every day when I'm not going to do anything too dramatic and I just want like a, a sun-kissed glow this is the perfect bronzing powder for that Okay, moving on to nail polish. One of the things that I loved receiving the most in my beauty subscription boxes was definitely nail polish because you most of the time got a full-size product and I don't discriminate with nail polish. I like just about every single color. I'll wear any single color. I'll try it once. Um, but I know one of the brands that I fell in love with uh, was the brand Zoya and I have a couple I have a couple here with me and I have more in my collection but these are just the two that I picked up to show you guys and I got these in my May 2013 Ipsy bag and I think the one that I got first was either Dot which is this light pink one or like another greenish one I don't remember but I, I didn't bring it with me but I just I fell in love with this formula so so much and I love that it's a five free polish and I just I love this and I eventually want to purchase like nothing but Zoya polishes because they are so long lasting they don't chip as much as other polishes do and like I said they're five free and I just I love them and they have so many names um, so many different colors with so many cute names and one of my all-time favorite nude polishes is this one and it is in the shade Rue I love this so so much it's my absolute favorite and I know that whenever I run out of this I will definitely be buying another one because it's such a beautiful everyday nude color with a tad bit of purple to it and like gray. It's just beautiful and I think it'll look gorgeous on any skin tone. So I totally love these polishes. Definitely my favorite and I need to, I need to buy some more of these for sure. Okay, and my last holy grail item that I've gotten in a beauty subscription service is a fragrance. And funny enough, I used to not like getting a perfume samples because I just had so many and most of the time I didn't use them but then kind of throughout the years I you know decided that it was time to use them and I actually fell in love with the one of like everybody loves this perfume and it is a Juicy Couture's Viva La Juicy uh, perfume and I just love this it's absolutely amazing it smells so good the bottle is adorable and this is a newer bottle I finished one of the smaller ones and this is a newer one and I love it it doesn't give me a headache if you don't know me well enough um, I get headaches really really easily with um, super strong potent fragrances especially if they're too musky and I just love this one I also like um, Viva La Juicy or Juicy Couture's Viva La Fleur. That one smells so good. I got a little sample of that and I kind of like it enough to buy it. So um, this is another holy grail item. Like I said, this is the second bottle. The other one was a smaller one. But um, oh, and then another one that I just got in a um, that I haven't purchased either is Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. I got that in um, a, the Sephora play box and I love that fragrance. It's definitely much stronger than what I'm used to so like half a pump is more than enough for me because if I do more than that I'll get a headache. Um, but I love it so much that I think I want to purchase it. So um, that's it for my holy grail items that I've received through Bir uh, Birchbox and or Ipsy. 
And like I said, I don't have anything from the Play by Sephora box just because I've only been with them for about 3-4 months. So, you know, I don't have anything from them yet that I felt the need to go buy a full size or repurchase over and over again. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to check out Lacey's channel. Like I said, all of her links, social media and everything will be linked down below. Let her know that I sent you. And if you want to do this video, please do it. I would love to see what products you have come to love through either Birchbox or Ipsy. I think it's a great way to kind of go through your stash too and really find out what products you truly truly love and it was fun going through my stuff and going back online and seeing how long ago I've got you know got this and how long I've been repurchasing it's just I don't know I just thought it was super fun and definitely something different so thank you guys again for watching and spending a little bit of your day with me and I will talk to you guys in the next one Bye.